One Southeast Portland family says they've had enough of a seemingly endless string of intruders next door. They say they have empathy for the homeless, but now they say their own lives are being put on the line by fires that have nearly spread to their home. Fox 12's Jeffrey Lindblom has more on their frustrations. For the couple that lives just beyond the fence line of this home, they say they're at their breaking point because of what they say has been problem after problem for the last five years. Fires have been happening off and on, major ones, and this last one actually came to our property and set our property on fire. Within 12 hours of that first initial fire that took multiple fire trucks, another fire popped up and they had to be called again. My wife was screaming. In the house. And propane tanks were igniting off on the fire two feet from my face while I'm trying to put it out. Jacob Adams has been pushed to his limit, forced to buy his own fire extinguishers just in case. He recalls multiple thefts off of his property, even allegedly catching one culprit red-handed. He says after spotting him, this man even came up to apologize and offered to pay for the wood Adams says he stole. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I pay for it. You want to pay for the fire when you stole yeah. it? Well, sorry. Adams says the list goes on and on, claiming drug use, fights, and the like are all too common right next door at this home with eviction notices galore. I don't know how many times I've talked to police because people are, you know, screaming or someone's ODing or it's just countless, countless first responders calls. You know, we all have to love our neighbor no matter who they are, but at the point when they start setting your place on fire is maybe when it becomes more difficult. Living just beyond this tree line, Jacob Adams says, is his 80-year-old veteran neighbor, who he says has been dealing with theft after theft of his belongings. They hooked up a hose to my water here and run it over there. I had to drag it out about four times. I had to drag the hose back. This 83-year-old vet, like Adams, is at the end of his rope. We've had all kinds of dealings there. Feel of drugs. And I felt feel fit, uh, safer walking downtown in Saigon when I was over in Vietnam than I do here in Portland. Both men fearful they may have no choice but to leave the city they know and love. I was born here. I love this city. It's the best city in the world. And it seems like all the stuff that they're doing is enabling the homeless people. For Adams, he says he leads with love and understands people need a place to sleep. But when the owner doesn't, you know, enforce the trespassing laws, or when we call them, you know, it's like, it's just, everything's on deaf ears and the police hands are tied, you know, cause they can't vacate people, you know, cause, you know, we call, but what does that do? In Jacob Adams' words, he just wants something, anything to be done, whether it's from the city or the homeowner, he doesn't care. He just wants he and his wife to feel safe once again in their own home. From Southeast Portland, I'm Jeffrey Limblom for Fox 12 Oregon.